Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I'm Nitya and this demo is about installing Metadata Manager agent for Metadata Manager which is required for loading business intelligence resources and few data modeling resources. To give an overview on MM agent and what an MM agent is, MM Agent is a program that Metadata Manager uses to access metadata sources and extract source metadata. By default, Metadata Manager Agent runs on Windows Node where the MM service runs. It uses one port higher than the Metadata Manager service. You can configure the port number in Informatica Administrator. Please note that you cannot install Metadata Manager Agent on Unix machines. For Metadata Manager services running on Unix, we need to install Metadata Manager Agent separately on Windows machine for loading business intelligence resources and data modeling resources. Based on the resource load we are going to perform, MM Agent has to be installed either on BI client or data modeling client machine or it can be on any other machine. Please go through the administrator guide to check where MM Agent has to be installed based on the resource load you're going to perform. Now let's start with the installation. MM Agent installer can be downloaded from the Metadata Manager service URL. For that first we need to log into the Metadata Manager service. Once you are logged into the Metadata Manager service, go to the load page, click on actions, download agent installer. Here we get two options, either to run the installer file directly or save the installer file. Since I have already saved the installer file for this demo, I am not downloading it again. Before we run the installer file, we need to make sure user running the installer belongs to the Windows Administrator group and have log on as service and act as operating system permissions. Double click the MM Agent installer file to start the installation. Now select the language and click on OK. Here we see the Metadata Manager Agent version is 9.5. So user always have to make sure the Metadata Manager Agent version installed and the Metadata Manager service version always matches. Click on Next. Here comes the port configuration and the install location. Agent Home is the path where MM Agent is going to get installed and port is a port number used by the metadata manager to communicate with metadata manager agent. The default port is 19983. User can make sure whether this port is being used by other applications or not by running the netstat command in command prompt. Go to the command prompt and run the command netstat hyphen a hyphen n. Based on the output, we can make sure this port is not being used by any other applications. So click on next. Here comes the HTTP and HTTPS configuration. The mode of configuration of Metadata Manager Agent should always be same as your Metadata Manager service. For example, if your MM service is running on HTTP mode, then Metadata Manager Agent should also be on HTTP mode. If Metadata Manager service is on HTTPS, then MM Agent should also be installed on HTTPS. And the key store file which is being used for the Metadata Manager Agent, it can be either same as your Metadata Manager service or it can be a different by using the option use installer generated key store but user needs to make sure once installation is complete this key store is being merged with the metadata manager service key store you can merge the key store using the java key tool utility you can refer the administrator guide for the commands in this demo 
I am going to perform installation in HTTP mode so I have to uncheck this option click on next now you get the product information the install location and the agent port and disk space information click on install so during the installation it will create a windows service for metadata manager agent and by default after the installation it will start the metadata manager agent service on successful installation you get the installation summary uh, where you can see what is the version of metadata manager agent install and the installation directory and the port number click on done to finish the installation now go to the metadata manager installed location and open the installation summary we can see the agent URL as like HTTP the host name and the port number on which we configured the MM agent to make sure the MM agent is up and running go to the browser and type HTTP colon hostname colon port number slash MIMB web services note that MIMB web services is case sensitive so you have to type in the same case so the URL is coming up so this makes sure that MM agent has already started after the installation and it is up and running and you can use HTTP colon hostname and port number as the MM agent URL when you're performing any resource load. As I explained you before, after the successful installation of Metadata Manager agent, by default, the Metadata Manager agent service gets started as a Windows service. But we need to make sure one of the property allow services to interact with desktop is enabled. This we can check in the services.msc. Go to services.msc and you can see uh, the service which is getting uh, which got created for Informatica Metadata Manager Agent 9.5 go to properties and click on log on you have to make sure allow services to interact with desktop is enabled especially when running Metadata Manager Agent as a Windows service click on apply and restart uh, the Metadata Manager Agent service and you can verify again if the URL is up and running uh, that's the end of metadata manager installation if you have any queries you can write to support videos at informatica.com or https twitter.com slash infosupport thank you